Good morning, planet Earth. So, it is August now, which means that my summer is drawing to a close. Um, so, I'm going to fill you in on some of the exciting and not exciting uh, events of the summer. Um, first, there's a question about my last video about why I'm not at home for the summer, why I'm still at MIT. The reason for that is because I'm doing teaching at Junction. Um, and because I'm teaching for this program, I need to stay here. Uh, I, 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 I don't live super close by, so I can't, you know, come in every day easily. Uh, and I'm also doing a Europe over the summer, um, which, again, got to be here for that. Uh, Junction, which is the teaching program I'm involved in, and I'm teaching mostly physics classes, and I've taught a fair number of uh, policy issue classes, too, has been going very well. Uh, the students are all uh, very enthusiastic, uh, and I've covered uh, a lot of interesting topics, and I've actually learned quite a bit. Um, I've taught a uh, class on climate change, I've taught um, special relativity, I've taught a little bit of quantum mechanics. Um, if I had my calendar from last month, I could just go and read off what I did. Uh, some of the policy classes I did were the economic collapse, I did uh, 2008 um, I did uh, education policy, um, and it, it's been a lot of fun. Um, I also did one math class on uh, expanding the binomial theorem, which was some of the, uh, the research and the work that I did in high school. Um, so Junction has been a blast. Uh, in other news, I noticed an invader in my room. This invader took the form of a small insect. Yes, my friends, there are ants waging war against me. And I will not let them be victorious. Let me tell you what's happened so far. So, I came in, I, like, I noticed, oh, there's an ant, kill it. Oh, and the next day, like, oh, there's another one, kill it. Hmm, odd. The ants began, began multiplying. There are more of them. And I started killing them all and continuing to kill them all. Um, but they kept showing up on my desk, and I couldn't figure out why. And, and I, I, I'm still not 100% sure why. And I still find one or two once in a while. What I did was that uh, my, my printer had a cord on the back of it that ran down uh, and would just kind of hang and go to the plug. And the ants were using it as a highway, a highway to invade my desk. So I pulled the plug out, and the ants felt their doom, or any that were on it at the time. Um, since then, I haven't really seen many. Um, hopefully that means that they're mostly gone, but I have suspicions. I also heard that ants don't like chalk, so what I did was I saw an ant on my desk, and I drew a square around it in chalk, and it was really funny. The ant just kind of was running around, and when it would hit the chalk, and like turn around and go another direction, hit the chalk, and turn around and go another direction and hit the chalk, and it was just trapped. And then what I started doing was cutting the boxes smaller and smaller and smaller, and the, the ant would go, oh, I didn't know what to do, and eventually it just ran really fast across the chalk, and, you know, got away. Well, then I killed it, actually, but it was got away from the, the, the prison of chalk. Um, so, yeah, I, I look around often for ants because I don't like them. Uh, in other news, uh, so, academically speaking, uh, you know, I thought, as I'm sure did all of you, that my academic decisions were over. I mean, I am a physics major at this point. I'm not changing that. I'm all set. So I thought. Kind of. Because I, I am still a physics major, and I intend to continue that. I think my glasses might be crooked. I don't know. These frames have had a rough time. I've dropped them, and things have happened to them. And, eh. Regardless, uh, I, what, what, uh, what, is, what is the issue here is that I have, I am considering, uh, and in fact the, the numbers, random numbers which you probably can't really see on my boy port are about this, I'm considering adding minor, and then in parentheses, s, minor, s, minor, s. The reason for that is because I recently discovered that, in fact, a political science minor is, is actually just like, two intro classes and then four non-intro classes. 
when I was a political science major, I took more than two intro classes, and I took three not intro classes. And the thing was, with the point of confusion was one of these classes was um, at Harvard Graduate School of Education, uh, and I wasn't sure if that would count towards a minor, and in fact it does, which means I only need one more political science class to, to get the minor. See, it's, the shot's like this that I think my glasses are crooked. See, because you can't see much above that eye, but above that eye, this is like in the middle. Suspicious. Anyways, um, so I, I think in the spring I'm going to take either constitutional law or philosophy of law. Um, which I think either would be really interesting, but I don't know which one to do at this point. Suggestions? Feel free to let me know. Uh, I, I think both are important and would be interesting for me for different reasons. Um, but that's not it. That's not it. The other thing that I'm seriously considering doing is stacking my schedule this year with math classes and pulling a math minor out. Now, math minor is similar to political science in that you need two intro classes and four non-intro classes. I have two intro classes already. I have 1803, which is differential equations, and I have linear algebra, which is, uh, I mean, <laughs> which is 1806. And uh, then I need four more. I could do two each semester, but what it's looking like would work best right now would be one in the fall and three in the spring. Hmm. So, 18440 statistics? Nope, just kidding. 18440 is probability of random or random variables or something. Uh, 18443 is statistics. 18781, which I was going to take anyways in the spring, is number theory, and I'm very interested in that. Uh, and I, I would like to take statistics and probability classes because my entire high school and MIT education outside of 8044, which was statistical mechanics, and we learned a little bit of probability and statistics. Um, I have never actually learned probability and statistics, and I feel like that's something that like would be useful to know. So I kind of want to take those classes, and I've kind of been looking at them anyways, which means I just need one more class. And I found one that is a dub, like, it's a course 18 class math that's also a course 12 class, which is like Earth, Atmospheric, and Planetary Science, which is really just physics just like everything else, but, you know, we'll let them have their little department. Uh, so, the point being is that I could find, I could do those three math classes and then find another math class that is more physics-y. There's also partial differential equations, which is very physics-y. Uh, so, that is being considered. Of course, if I was to do that, it would mean not doing electromagnetism too, and it would mean not doing general relativity in the spring. So I have to ponder what I really want out of my senior year. Um, and the final thing that is, again, this is just a lot of crazy announcements here, and the number four we're going on. The final thing is that it turns out I probably won't go to grad school next year. Uh, and the reason for that is because I can't get a professional license uh, until having taught for three years under an initial license. Um, and this means that like I can't go to grad school next year and get a professional license because I won't have taught for three years. Uh, and if in Massachusetts at least, there, there are a bunch of different ways to do professional licensure. But I, from what I, I, it looks like to be relatively common, are uh, you can either if you don't have a master's degree, get a master's degree. If you do have a master's degree, then take more classes or do some kind of program that's approved for a professional licensure. So to me, it would make more sense to rather than do the master's and these extra classes, to just do the masters down the road. So it looks like I, in the fall, spring, in the spring, I will also have to worry about looking for a job, uh, which means I, I don't, I, I, I would like some time to do that and not just be doing math all the time. Uh, so these are all of the things on my plate that I'm thinking about right now, and I'm also trying to prepare for in house Russian Rex, uh, which is coming up soon. Uh, as you know, since I'm the the uh, entry chair and chair entry, one of the things that we have to do is um, make sure that, you know, people are, uh, will have food, that we'll have it all coordinated, that, you know, we have whatever. So, uh, as the summer draws to a close, my life draws to a not close, the opposite of a close, an opening, a new start. 
Uh, and that's all for tonight, folks. So I hope that was enlightening, and peace!